Guys, check out what just came in the mail. Hey you! I forgot what goes after this. Hey you! My name is Ilya and welcome to the weekly Wednesday vlog. Today we're hanging out in Addis's crib. I don't know if you can see this. It says his Instagram handle on this little cool thingy that I need to get as well. We seriously spent like half an hour just setting all this up. It seems so tiny and simple but like every positioning of this, the positioning of the chair, where the camera is, the, the little red limited lights that we have, it took such a long time to set it all up. But it's finally here, so let's get the vlog going. Now this little gift is from a company called Beardocracy and it, it has a really interesting story behind it. So my Instagram handle, for some of you that may know, is a Ukrainian from Sarajevo because I'm born in Ukraine but I've lived most of my life here in Sarajevo so this awesome dude contacts me on Instagram he's like hey man I'm from Sarajevo but I live in Ukraine and I was like you know so instant bromance there and we're like okay cool what can we do how can we call that so he tells me a story he's like back in the day when there was no beard care company in Bosnia he started a company that's called beardocracy that supplies people with beard ointment he moved to Kiev with his wife since to work here but his family still runs the business so he's like hey you know what I'm gonna send you a care package and you take a couple pictures in return and I was like hell yeah so this arrived at my doorstep and I'm totally gonna open up and check what's inside and also show you guys how I would take some cool pictures of it this little gray paper bag with like burlap baggies inside screams this whole homemade premium brand vibe which I absolutely dig so I can't wait to look what's inside Woo! these little baggies are totally going into the photo shoot even before opening these smell awesome like I just have them in the room to give a nice scent to my working space check it out check these awesome seals I mean this stuff is so fancy two sealed box says yam man this stuff is so photogenic Peter McKenna will be but jealous everyone uses the same oh those are different colors so many creams I don't even know what these are for so I'm gonna have to google how to take care of your beard after I finish unpacking these this is something flattish and cool looking wow a pad for the boxes? Seriously, these products are more photogenic than like 80% of the people that I take pictures of. Check out this little comb, it's packed in a little bearded guy and it says beardocracy on the bottom. And last little burlap baggie probably has all the oils. These little cute bottles, I mean, I just keep them because they're cute. Ow! How to use the products and everything is probably slightly outside of my average YouTube audience, so I'm not gonna do that. Let's get on to taking the picture. Here's our fancy setup. Here's the flash going through a paper bag. Plenty of fancy products. Mr. Anlen's shooting behind the scenes. What does it say on your shirt anyway? You'll, You'll never, never walk, walk alone. alone. Liar. Oh, what do you think? Did you get some good shots? Yeah. And of course you have the B-roll. <laughs> Okay, here's some test shots of our awesome setup. Now, I just had all these cool little accessories lying around, like this old camera and this box and this hay and these glasses. And I was like, okay, let's go for the whole retro man cave setup. And we laid out these pictures. And now I'm just gonna go through them and pick out some of the ones that I think look best and that we can use for our final album. Now, they're a little bit grainy because of the low light until we put on the flash with the other camera but but it's fine because it, it gives this whole retro feel which i like we got some close-ups of each of the different types of products and we got some wide shots we got these over the head kind of flat lay shots so a, a variety of product shots that they can use for their advertising now that we finished picking them out with five stars let's go ahead and take one and edit it to the way I think this would look cool. Now I want to go for this grungy retro feel. I'm gonna slightly add more dynamic rage by bringing up the shadows and taking down the highlights. Of course it needs to be cropped straight because it was a little bit tilted. Looking at the lines here matching the side of the bottle. Give it, Add a little bit of blacks to give that contrasty bit more contrast. We'll get rid of those blacks later. Um, I want more clarity so it can be more grungy a little bit desaturated maybe add a little bit more warmth too much uh, in which case you'll have to desaturate it then i can go to the curves 
make sure the center is where the center is bring up the shadows smash down now curves is always a fun thing to play around with but you have to kind of go with your own taste sometimes I really like to pull up the blacks so I can color them with the split toning I bring up the contrast way up just so I can see which color I'm adding I want a kind of reddish orange in the shadows and then I'll see how much I want to add into it something like that but now it's really bright um, I don't want it that much so I'm gonna take away a bit more of the saturation take back the temperature a little bit just so it's not as strong a bit more exposure but exposure is relevant to each photo individually. You don't want to synchronize exposure across all the different photos. Obviously sharpen it, although it's gonna introduce more of that grainy noise. And a tiny bit of luminance to hide the little bit of grainy noise. And for the purpose of this photo, I'd add a little bit of post-crop vignetting. Now for some people this might be overdoing it, but I really want to bring across that retro feel. So I'm really going strong with all of these presets. If you don't like it that way, you can just minimize them by taking a bit down from the clarity, a bit less of saturation, a bit less of split toning, and you should have a milder look. Now I can select them all, synchronize them, and I expect these to look good on the flash photos as well. Yeah, it looks fine. And it even unites because the flash photos and the non-flash photos were taken with two different cameras. So it kind of unites them in the style. Now these are a little bit more blue, so they appear more pink with the effects we put on them. But you can really play around with it. Like if you want a much warmer feel, you can bring the temperature way up and bring the saturation way down. And then you have like that black and white sepia effect, kind of. And if you don't like it, then you can bring the temperature down, maybe more pinks down, and you get a more kind of natural feel with more color. That is it, guys. We took some cool pictures. I hope you learned something new. Thank you so much for watching. As always, I'm going to see you guys next week. I have to repack all this and bring it home. You're not going to take photos here? <laughs> That's for the end of the vlog.